We are in Oldenburg, Germany, and the game here on game day six in Group A is between EV Vasquez Oldenburg and Juventus Utena. So it's a battle of Germany against Lithuania. And if we know anything about these uh, EV Vasquez Oldenburg fans, uh, they, they know they're they're used they're accustomed to seeing some some great action uh, in the basketball Champions League. They really provided a lot of highlights. Uh, last year. More on that later. Uka Murthia uh, falling at home to AF Monaco last night. Pinar Karciaka winning tonight over Ennessy, coming from 16 points down, in fact. Uh, Dinamo Sassari also are going up against uh, Habo Holon tonight. And uh, we also have this game here, which has uh, got all of our attention. And of course, these uh, devoted uh, EV Baskets Oldenburg fans. Uh, it was last year, in fact, that Chris Kramer. When he played for this team, got a triple double, which uh, triple double is when you get 10 or more uh, in a, a certain statistical category points, rebounds, assists. And it's also happened tonight uh, with Neptunus. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. But here are the Group A standings AS Monaco up at the top unbeaten. Then you got Peter Karciaka uh, in second place. Uh, EV Baskets Oldenburg can stay right on their heels if they can get a win tonight. And uh, a long way to go in the hunt. Uh, obviously, the, the, the priority for all the teams is to get a top four finish. And uh, as you could tell by the standings, it's going to be awfully difficult uh, for Juventus Utena to do it. But hey, anything is possible. Uh, Bichkowskis, a member of their team last season back, he's still in this team. Anthony Ireland uh, provides a lot of points. Uh, Carl Lindbaum, Korn Maxime Kornienko, the Ukraine international. Uh, you've got a lot of players hoping uh, that things can be turned around uh, in that Juventus Utena locker room uh, to where they can get uh, some more wins. Uh, they're two and three uh, in the basketball Champions League right now. And remember, they had to come through the last qualifying round. Uh, for EV Baskets Oldenburg, well, no Kramer this year, but there's Brian Allen, and he's been uh, doing the business for this team. Franz Massenot has been uh, tough as usual. Uh, Philo Schwelltown is back from last season's team, and this is uh, a confident EV Baskets team that, again, uh, three and two already and in third place. And perhaps uh, the surprise uh, so far, the season would be that Ukam Murthia are, are two and four, a uh, team from Spain's Liga Endesa. And also, Dinamo Sassari are suffering right now at one and four. But as you can see with NSC Krasnoryask at two and four, you know, every team in this group still has a chance to climb into that top four. So, Juventus Utena here are, are coming out. Remember Dendi hitting that game-winning shot earlier this season. So against uh, Holon, so uh, for one of those two wins, and Juventus Utena with the the two wins, you know if they go to three and three tonight, uh, both they and EV Baskets will be three and three. So it's a top four uh, from each team, and unfortunately. Uh, it looks like EV Baskets Oldenburg might or will not be at full strength tonight. As you see Brian Allen coming out. Um, and I say that because uh, in street clothes tonight is uh, their, their Belgium international Maxime Dezeu. And everybody knows how good uh, Maxime Dezeu is. He's a, a terrific player. And we're hoping uh, that he'll be back in time to play uh, for Belgium at the World Cup qualifiers because they'll be needing him and those tip off on November 24th. So the crowd, there's the legend of EV, EV Baskets Oldenburg or the great, uh, the icon, Ricky Paulding. And still uh, getting it done for this team. So. And Laden uh, is uh, is the coach, and he'll be hoping uh, 
hoping that this team can turn it on tonight against Juventus Utena. So we'll be getting a look at the referees. We'll be getting a look at the starting fives for both of these teams uh, to kind of set the table for at least how we're going to how this uh, game is going to proceed. And uh, Juventus, if they could uh, get a win on the road, remember they they were like EV Baskets last season, both in the Basketball Champions League, both advanced uh, to the knockout round. Uh, but both then were, were knocked out. Um, last year it was a 40 team regular season. This year it's 32 teams. So obviously it's a, a bigger ask. Uh, Lynn Bond played at the FIBA Eurobasket with Finland. He's in that Juventus Utena team. So it's a bigger ask for these teams uh, uh, to make it past that initial group stage. Referees uh, Lorenzo Baldini from Italy, Ivor Matejic from the Czech Republic, and Nicola Maestre from France. Allez le bleu. Now. Final warm ups. Cooks us there. And the rest of the uh, Juventus Uten Utena players. So. Budalavicius, Dindy, Flowers, Kornienko, and Bichkowskis in that starting five for Coach Urbonis, who, remember, uh, didn't start as the, the head coach, but as an assistant, former, former uh, well, legendary player in the uh, Lithuanian League, Urbonis. There he is on the right, Zadronis Urbonis. And he knows how priceless a win on the road would be in the Basketball Champions League. You sneak a road win, you get right back firmly. You're rather you're firmly in the hunt for a spot in that next round. For EB Baskets, Oldenburg tonight, they're starting five. Is uh, Brian Allen, Ricky Paulding, Mickey McConnell. Philip Schwelton and Isaiah Fillmore. And there's him Laden, the coach. Very uh, full of character. He's quite a character. Good coach knows how to manage a game. And you have to have good coaches in the in the German league. It's a it's a tough old league these days. So final instructions. Let's go down to the benches to see if we can listen in. So if we look back at how these teams have done this season, we'll start with EV Baskets. Oldenburg, they uh, 
lost at home in, in what can only be viewed as an upset to NFC Krasnoyarsk on game day one, 89 to 86. But then they hit the road and won at Dinamo the Sassari, 83 to 76. So that was a big road win. And next time out, they probably got their most impressive win in the entire season over Pinar Karsiak in 96 82. Uh, they won handsomely as well at home over Ukai Murthia, but fell last week at, at Monaco, 88 73, who are unbeaten. So we are underway here in Germany. And Oldenburg in the yellow, Juventus in the red. And Juventus Utena take the early three, and Dindy makes the three. What a start for Juventus Utena, the hero of the win over Holon. Gets fouled while shooting a three-pointer, and now he will get the the free throw for a potential game-starting four-point play. Everything is fine and dindy over at Juventus Utena. Four-point play to start things off, and we just seem to get more and more fouls called uh, on the three-point shot. And the reason why is because teams know they got to get out and get a hand in the face. But that's the risk that you run. So EV baskets now trailing by four. Now the quick turnover. And uh, Juventus have it. The pass from Bichkowskis up ahead, but a little too far ahead. So the turnover. Inside it goes, and Sveltem draws the foul. And Sveltem misses the first. Excuse me, makes the first, and now it's uh, the second one goes up and it's good as well. So Sveltem has uh, got quite a pedigree. He used to play for Germany's national team. He's had some back issues, but here he is, still playing in a vital member of EVE Baskets. Dendy hits another one. Fast start for him, has a look over at the bench. I don't think you want to fire those guys up, Dendy. Allen explodes, tries to score with a, a razzle dazzle reverse layup, but looks like he got blocked by the underside of the rim. Pitskowskis passes it back outside to Korninko. There's Dindy. He's feeling it, but he misses that one. Brian or uh, Paulding misses and then the alley the rebound rather from Fillmore he puts it up and in flowers Johnson flowers over to Kornienko Sveltem gets it. Three point attempt. Uh, McConnell, no good, but they uh, fill more with the offensive rebound and put back. Four points for Fillmore. Flowers gets an easy one and puts Juventus Utena back in front, but then quickly to the other end and Spelton's. Looking good, hustling down the floor, ties it up.
Fillmore almost comes up with a steal. It looked like Dendy may have touched it. No, the referee says he did not. Vizkauskas so inbounds it. Flowers. And a good hustle, Kornienko. Now Dindy decides to pass it back to Bitskowskis. And Bitskowskis able to get it to Dindy, and he goes up, powers his way up, and scores. Seven points off the mark. Eight points for Dindy, rather, because he had the four point play. And then the, uh, the, two, the two baskets. Svelton misses from deep. Flowers gets the ball. And Bichkowska's taking his time with the shot clock down to 10. Again, Flowers for three. Good. Rabona says, that's what I like to see. Five-point lead. And Mladen's calling timeout over there on the bench. Let's try to hear what he has to say. Hey guys, we have five or six offense, only when our shot miss. That we cannot say. After we play about, look now. When we play motion, they record and they go in gun. No enough contest, no enough fun. Okay, let's go. Change this. Change this. Rush is coming for the for the Isaiah. We go out. We play. We play fist. Fist offense. First. Now what was good? It's a soft defense. Dom is going inside. Pass here. Now, that's why we have. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Back to live action. You heard what the coaches were saying, what they were trying to do, especially uh, for EBU baskets. Let's see if it translates into their play here. And Svelton, that, you know, the right things have been said when you come out of the huddle and you get it and you get a layup. Oh, Pitchkowskis just kind of scores with a little runner. Now McConnell. And he's bumped out of the perimeter. So Coops is, uh, that's, a, that's a cheap foul to give away. He might regret that one later in the game if he gets into foul trouble. Ireland into the game. And three-pointer is good. And Paulding. Coops this down low to Kornienko. He gets fouled. So he will go to the line for two. Well, you could see uh, Paulding with that beautiful stroke, and now the veteran is just talking to the ref. He must be complaining that he got hit and it wasn't seen, but you never know with players, do you?
Arvidas Sixnius checks in. Paulding bounce pass. And good uh, interplay there from EV Baskets passing the ball. And the long one from Brian Allen. He's had some huge games this season. Maybe he's on his way to another big score, another big night. Anthony Ireland, almost a, a turnover. Four fifteen remaining in the opening quarter, and uh, we've got a good one, folks. Just sit down, get a cup of tea or a, a frosty, or a drink with ice, and enjoy it. Flowers hits the three. Certainly, plenty of fizz in this one. Oh, beautiful pass from the big man. Rashid Mahabasic. So Flowers is just starting like a house on fire tonight. And now Allen tries to answer, but look at that. All three threes made by Flowers thus far. So the three-point shot has been kind, <laughs> to put it mildly, uh, to Juventus. And now shot clock violation. So timeout on the floor with 310 remaining in this opening quarter. Ravonis called the timeout. Hey, listen up. I don't have a lot of time. Thank you for playing. You're the best. You're the best. But guys, just keep this play. After you're going to go to the board. Thank you, concentration. Bravo, Andy. Bravo. Now we play. So clearly not happy with the fact that this Juventus Utena team already has 23 points and still in the first quarter. So EV Baskets need to step it up. I mean, they are hitting their threes right now. Good flowers. Boy, he's like a. We thought it was going to be Dendi who was like a house on fire, but so far it's been it's been that man right there. He's in full bloom. And it goes and good strong post down and down on the low blocks. By Sistinius. Now Brian Allen goes in and this time does score with the reverse layup. Boy, he has got some hops. 25 to 20. It's a high scoring affair. And for me, I prefer the high scoring affairs. I don't know about you. It's a lot more fun. Flowers. He's hot as a firecracker. And you see Coach Urbonis doesn't mind. Just put them up, guys. So 
Mahabashic has uh, yet to attempt a shot here. See if he's going to get involved in the offense. Here he's got the ball. Austria International. Now he gets inside. He gets it. Oh, look at that. Just smooth. Silky smooth from the big man. Mahabasic lays it up and in. Ireland takes the bump, puts it up. Mahabasic over to Paulding. Paulding floats in, scores with the left hand. And quickly to the other end is Flowers. Juventus Udena giving as good as they're getting right now. Ireland goes up. Brian Allen behind the back pass. Well, he'll get an assist. If Kessin can make his free throws, Marcel Kessin. Fouled by Sistinius. Sistinius, uh, not in full agreement. So Kessin at the line of tape with Rashid Mahabashic. You, you really have to see his game to appreciate how good he is. You love to see players that are, that are passing the ball as well as he passes. I mean, he's not just a scorer, not just a rebounder, but he's a big guy that passes. And, of course, Allen uh, made the pass that time and uh, collected the assist. Thanks to those two free throws. Six Nias. Tries to make the bounce pass to Kupsis. Ball goes out of bounds. Carson Todd in the game, number nine. Brad Loising as well for EV Baskets. Kupsis. Oh, nice quality move by the big man. 29 26. Look at that, Mahabasic. Oh, look at the passing. And then uh, the rebound and the miss. Kesson thought he had the layup and he just didn't go up strong enough. Marcel Kesson wishes he could have that one back. Well, you can see Brad Loising knowing an opportunity uh, slipped by there. You know, Tata played for Germany uh, at the last three year baskets. He's got quite a pedigree. He's on the ball right now. Of course, Germany made it to the quarterfinals of the FIBA year basket this year in uh, Turkey. There's Ireland launching three late in the shot clock. And a push, however, has been called on Guchikas. But he will come out, but not a bad foul. Juventus with uh, four fouls now. Any more fouls will put EV baskets on the line, but there's only 4.3 seconds remaining in this second quarter. It's going to be Todd. He's going to launch one. Oh, clever. They're going to give him the basket. That's a goal 10. That was goal interference. They're going to go look at that, and they're going to see that he got, that, he got rid of that before uh, the buzzer. Referees will review that at the end. Right now, the score is 29-26. So the numbers, uh, Juventus shooting lights out. Look at that. 70% from inside the arc, 50 from deep. 
and they've made all their free throws. And not bad shooting either from EVE baskets. Here's some of the highlights. Well, on the one hand, Mladen Drijic, the coach of VV Baskets Oldenburg, uh, can't be happy uh, with, the, with the defense because uh, they've given away some open looks. It's one thing to hit a three-pointer, but it's another uh, to hit wide-open three-pointers. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, the, the closely guarded three-pointer that was made uh, got Dindy to the free-throw line. So it was an interesting start to the game. Look at Rashid. Mahabasic, his passing is just phenomenal. I'm very impressed. Doesn't look like he's a, a leaper, but much more of a, a complete big man. Here he is, comes up high. Now he's going to try to get the ball down low. Doesn't get it. Shot clock winding down. EV baskets. Masanat has to launch one. Six minutes. Hands it off to Bichkowskis and then uh, tried to get an alley oop pass. Good D from EV baskets. But Lovicius gets it back. To Pichkowskis now inside to Dindy. Dindy arguing he was fouled and then he commits a foul. Oh, an unsportsmanlike foul called on Dindy. Look at this. Here's Dindy goes up. It looked like Masanat just Masanat got had a good play there, a good block. And then Dindy commits the foul without really making a play on the ball and just uh, complicates matters even more for his team. But fortunately for him, Massonat misses the first free throw. But EV Baskets will keep possession after uh, this free throw. Wow, Massonat misses both. into Mahabasic. Uh, look at him. Poised. Masana catches it. Tries to uh, score and gets fouled. Came into this uh, game having made all three of his three throws. So that was a bit of a surprise perhaps. Tada pulls up. Mahabasic kept it alive. But Levicius was able to um, maintain control and uh, pass out of trouble. Now here's Bud Levicius. It's good. Three pointer. Another three. Now those uh, Lithuanian players and Lithuanian teams have the, the big reputation for putting up a bunch of threes. And we just saw it from Bud Levicius there. Fight for the ball, goes out of bounds. And the Juventus ball. See the field goal shooting percentage for both teams is Piskowskis launches another three. They are lights out in the first half. Six 
six of ten from deep so far for Juventus Uthana. The CV Baskets team must be thinking, okay, guys, cool off time. We know you're not going to shoot this well all night, but they're looking pretty confident out there. Set him uh, under pressure. Now, uh, Leutzing drives in. No foul was called. So it appears, in fact, that yeah, the, 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 the basket at the end of the first half by Leutzing was not counted. So. We never, I don't think we actually saw the signal from the referee, but anyway, it's Juventus within the leading 35 26. And again, Loising uh, commits the foul. Now Dindy getting some instructions over there from both coaches. First attempt is good at the line from Gutsikas. And the second one is good. Must have not. Mahabasic has Dindi on him. Mahabasic, oh, it's just smooth, but doesn't make the layup. Dindi, alley oop, and Kutsiskas was there, had a couple of looks at it. In fact, three attempts, but didn't make the shot. See the field goal shooting percentages for both teams. Launches it. Kusikas goes up for the rebound. It's Kalskis. And Mahabasic just stood his ground, took it away. Tada. And good follow from Franz Masinat. Kalskis left wide open. Flowers has it. Drive the alley oop pass, and Dindy doesn't make the shot. He's going to be upset with himself. Some, some changes here. Paulding comes back into the game. Also in the game is, I'm not sure who that is actually. So, Yes, Marco Basek, who's coming into the game, number 13.
Mark, Marco Bacek, excuse me. And McConnell gets it to Paul. Yeah, he goes up for the dunk. Ricky Paulding. He's 35 and still flying, folks. Nine points for the EV E baskets icon. And Indy off target, but then Svilton with the foul using his arm to hook the opponent to keep him boxed out. Still, Juventus Utena with the uh, seven point lead, but look at this airtime. Paulding says, I got some more of that coming for you tonight. Well, you know, you got to do that if you wear number 23. Isaiah Fillmore back into the contest. And Mahabasic is uh, catching a breather right now. And Juventus Utena, Ireland not able to get the ball in bounds. There it is, once again. Flowers going for the steal. And Brian Allen floats in for the little short jumper. So the Lithuanian Budlovich is fouled by Allen. And Budlovich makes the first. Throws good. So Juventus Udna looking uh, relatively comfortable right now with the seven point lead on the road. And timeout on the floor. Let's go down to the benches. Okay, you play position five, he played position four. He played defense of position five, you play defense of position four. Okay. Marco is offensively four. And after we got a So in it goes, and an easy one for Fillmore, who looks pretty effective down low. Juventus uh, and Evie Vasquez, at this rate, you never know. I mean, they might be pushing 50 points each here in this first half. Siskinius. And goes up, and nice soft release. Gets the basket. Connell puts up the short jumper and Fillmore scrapping for the ball. So 
So a good job from Budlovicius. They will keep possession. Three forty-eight remaining in the first half. And a blocking foul on Shiskinius. I know it's going to be on. Yes, it is indeed. So Shiskinius gets it. So Allen will go to the line. So 41 36 uh, Juventus Utena would lead uh, cut just a little but EV baskets not making that big run yet. is going to come out. So Koops is uh, fouled and goes to the line and makes the first one. And, you know, when you look at Juventus Utena and you go back to their results, um, they did have a low scoring game in their open against Monaco. He misses, but they get the ball back. So it's a six point lead and another possession. Juventus uh, usually do score a lot of points, but it's just a matter of stopping the opponent. Now the three pointer. Another one, but Levicius for him. And it's back up to 45 36. And but Levicius having a good game tonight. And the bounce pass. And then Fillmore finishes it off down low. You can see uh, Drinic, Mladen Drinic, the coach of EV Baskets, telling his guys to box out. Well, Ireland puts up a three. He knocks it. Oh, no, it's a two. Oh, he was well behind the line. Need to get my eyes checked. 47. 38. Nevertheless, it was a long jumper. They continue to fall for the team in red. That was Bacic. Ireland. Happy to take some seconds off the clock. Now down to five seconds. He's going to have to do a little bit of one on one action. He's going to put up a three. Goes in and out. And Budlovicius got the rebound and could have scored with the putback. Uh, but he missed a gimme. Brian Allen gets it to Paulding. And the ball knocked out of his hands. So Mahabasic is going to come back into the game. Rashid Mahabasic, number 24. And here's Paulding, and it's Kornienko who knocked it away. Holding with six on the shot clock, launches a three. Fillmore keeps it alive. I think that's going to be, yes, it is. EV Baskets ball.
Balding has the ball knocked out of his hands by Ireland, and Ireland's going to end up. Oh, he took his time, but great hustle by Flowers to get down the floor for the follow-up, and then goal interference was called on EV Baskets, and uh, right now, things not going their way. They are trailing their biggest deficit of the game, 11 points. And the miss, Mahabasic not able to rebound it. This is a game that seems to have been played at the tempo of uh, the Juventus Uten would like. They've hit their shots, their jumpers, and had a couple of hustle plays. And here you go, they work it. Flowers has the hot hand, he misses. And Kuksis uh, comes from behind and fouls Mahabasic. So when you're struggling, you'll take anything you can get. And right now, uh, Mahabasic will go to the line. Oh, it looks like uh, Paulding got fouled by Ireland. That one's uh, one that got away. Paulding hustled down to get the block, but then Flowers hustled. And then his shot was uh, interfered with. So these things uh, even out over the course of the game. I'm sure Paulding is aware of that. Ooh. I was singing his praises and he didn't make the first free throw. Mahabasic. Second one is good. Foul called. Ireland makes the first. Rose again. Now 12 points. Brian Allen gets it to Mahabasic. Good hands from Dindy. And the drive from Ricky Paulding is good off the glass with 12.9 seconds remaining. So Juventus want to get another two points here before the half if they can. So it's been a terrific, terrific encounter uh, uh, performance, especially by Juventus. I mean, they've come on the road, and uh, if they could get a win at the EV, EVE Arena, boy, it would be huge for their season and their chances and a tight group. Ireland. 
spin moves. Three seconds, two. But then he turns it over. Paulding's going to get a last shot. Did he get off in time? Yes, he did. I think so. But they're going to review it. What a finish to the half. If indeed he did make it. So Juventus drawed up the play. Look at this. Yes. Oh, I, I think they're going to give it. It is oh so close. Once again, slow it down. Ah, that's close. But I think I think he did. I think he got it. Whatever it's going to be, it's a potential five or six point swing right at the end because Juventus had called timeout. Again, they're going to count it, folks. They have to. That just was the stuff of dreams. Yes, they did. Great finish for EV Baskets, and we'll see if that kind of picks them up. Uh, for the rest of the way, they trail 51-44 at halftime. So look at the stats at halftime, the three-point shooting from Juventus. Utana has just been sensational and they've also made their free throws inside the arc. They're not missing anything. Uh, so, you know, as long as they can continue to run their offense and make some shots, uh, they're going to be tough to beat. But uh, you just get the feeling we haven't seen the best of EVE baskets yet. Paulding with 14 points, Flowers with 15, uh, leading the way for Juventus. Uh, Berlovicius with the two steals. Again, Flowers and Paulding after that three right at the buzzer. It doesn't get any closer than that, does it? He has 14. We'll be right back, folks, for the second half.
Well, 51-44, what a game we've got for you right now, folks. This is one that you want to watch to the very end. You can just see the drama. Uh, it's going to unfold here with this EB Baskets uh, losing by seven uh, to Juventus, who quite frankly shot lights out in that first half uh, with those seven three-pointers that really lifted them and also did a good job of getting to the line and making their free throws. When you look uh, look back at look back at the stats seven of twelve from three point range for Juventus whereas that man right there coach Drinich is a team EV baskets three of nine and his team was seven of ten at the free throw line whereas Juventus Utena were ten of eleven so coach or bonus probably has to like where his team is right now. They're out rebounding EV baskets 19 to 18. Um, you know, they are just shooting very well. I mean, 10 of 20 inside the arc, 17 of 32 overall. Uh, they haven't turned the ball over, just six turnovers. Uh, only three, in fact, for Juventus, excuse me, for EV baskets. Uh, but maybe EV Baskets uh, getting that last second three-pointer from Ricky Paulding Jr. at the end of the half. Uh, that'll spark them. So Brian Allen uh, hasn't exploded yet, and that's something that could always happen for EVE baskets. And you think about what he's been able to do this uh, this season. In fact, he was uh, the MVP of the week once already. So, and a lot of that was because of his scoring. He's had a 26-point game, 21, a 16-point game, a 21-point game. So, you know, his uh, his numbers have been good, and they'll need him to really pick it up here uh, against Juventus Udina. Butlovicius gets it to Dendi, follows his shot. Mahabasic uh, kept it away from him, though. We saw the good, the bad, the ugly from Dindy. We saw him open the game with a four-point play, but then we saw him get the unsportsmanlike foul. And there's Allen. Look out, folks. It's time for takeoff. It's time for liftoff. He's probably got more hops than anybody out on the court. There's no doubt about that. He has got some hang time. Brian Allen. Dindy puts it up over... Mahabasic and draws the foul. <clears throat> this was uh, Allen. Look at this. It's time to float. Nice soft release from Dindy. Seems like an infinitely likable teammate, Dindy. Leron Dindy. And doesn't get the bounce on the second one. So Juventus with a six point lead. Here's Paulding. Allen again on line, but a little bit long. So he's definitely looking to explode.
Pichkowskis drives in, misses with the left hand. They're getting good looks. Philip Shilton to Paulding, who's just been terrific tonight. It's the Ricky Paulding show. He's got 16 points. He's leading all scores now. Well, I thought he had 14 at halftime. I think he's got 16. And now the drive and the ball blocked out of bounds. Kornienko was thinking he was going to get a call there. Look at Dindy. Comes over and helps up his teammate. That's a good teammate for you. He's looking out for you. Here he is again. Bounce pass. That's a good no call by the ref. Good D from McConnell. Oh, no. They did call the foul. Excuse me, I didn't think. I didn't think they were going to call it. The way Kornienka was uh, lying on the floor looked like they hadn't called it. So he makes both. Svetlin. And good reach from Bitskowskis and he went from almost getting a steal to running into McConnell. And the drive, Allen again. Clearly feeling the need to step up. 13 points now for Allen. Look out. He can explode. Kornienko. Now Bichkowskis, they're, they're leading by four. Dindy a little bit too hard, but Kornienko, that little extra effort, knocked the ball out and got him the second chance. And Flowers goes up to a game-high 17 points. McConnell, count it! That lead is three. And the offense is waking up for the team in the yellow. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be V. Baskets ball, Bitskowskis. He's played well tonight, but Siskinius comes in for a bottle of vicious. And this is an interesting point in the game for Urbonus. I mean, it's all of a sudden it's not working. Look at Flowers, comes up with a big steal. Sisney is left wide open for the three. Remember that, folks. Big play from Jaunty Flowers. He's not just scoring. He's coming out and making game-changing defensive plays. The heat was on, and he came up and fed Sisney, who's like, well, I guess I got to shoot it. I'm wide open. Boy, that was big time from Flowers. McConnell. Allen, just inside the arc. It was so such a big play because EV baskets have just been coming back strong here in this first five minutes. And then they had the ball. They had a chance to tie it with a three. And Flowers stepped in and got the steal and passed to Shisknius, who just immediately let it go for the three. So remember that play. There's Paulding, gets it right back. Man, he has been money tonight, 19 points for Ricky Paulding. Now Flowers. Passes to Dindy, oh, beautiful play to Kornienko. 
Chalk up the assist, really. Flowers and Dendy passing it well. Paulding's feeling it. Count it! Ricky Paulding! He's got plenty of big shots. Left, look at that, 22 points, four of five from deep. And now the turnover. And we were expecting Brian Allen to take off, but really it's been uh, Ricky Paulding refusing to, uh, to see the limelight. He's like, I've been here before. I've been doing this for a long time. Just get me the rock. Inside this time to Mahalbasic, and he ties it at 61. We're midway through the third quarter. Kornienko, Dindy, and he led Sisnius just a little too much. Right idea. For Ricky Paulding, probably has to be the best known player at EV Baskets and one of the best known in Germany. Allen gets inside, passes out. Ricky Paulding again. Got another three. Paulding has it. The turnover. EV Baskets with the three point lead. McConnell. Good. It's contagious. So timeout or bonus, we thought it might be coming. We thought they might be heating up in the second half, and they have. say about Paulding he's been dunking he's been hitting buzzer beating threes at the end of the half look at that one he's been doing it all and he's came out from the the, the halftime locker room team talk and just said just give me the rock just give me the rock and when your man is that hot you got to get him the rock and he's hit three three-pointers in this quarter alone Look at that, 25 points, five of six from deep. Ah, oh, Flowers though, he's not gonna step out of the limelight either, is he? He gets another one and he just continues to wreak havoc for Juventus Utena. Mahabasic.
So Rashid Mahabasic, the Austrian international, gets it to go. Gets them both to go. and Paulding gets the rebound. So they were down seven at halftime and they have come storming back here in the third quarter. Allen wide open, good! Boy, the three-point shooting party, the parade is underway. 72-64, Allen now with 16 points. Kripsis gets an easy one down low, but Allen floats in. Oh, he missed the layup. Now Paulding fouls Ireland. Oh, look at the passing. Look at that passing. Appreciate the shooting, but look at the passing. Shiskin is now. Has it taken away. And now, oh, did he walk? Nope, he's going to lay it up and in. Certainly looked like he maybe took one too many steps. But who am I to question the, the uh, sensational Brian Allen? Allen tries to get it back, he does, into Kupsis, and Kupsis not able to uh, finish. And Kuzitskas uh, fouls McConnell. That was just Sisney is trying to do too much. No, nope, he didn't walk. Great play from Brian Allen. He is so much fun to watch, both he and Paulding. And uh, I tell you, when they're turning on all cylinders, this EV Baskets team is is tough, and we've seen it here in this third quarter. Now a 10 point lead. Who would have thunk it? They were down 51 44 at halftime, and they've outscored Juventus Uden a 32 to 15 in this third quarter. It's Kalskis bringing the ball up the floor. Juventus Utena will know they've still got plenty of time. He's got a Keep playing, but you know what? Uh, some turnovers creeping into their play. They only had six at halftime. And now they've got 12. So they've more than doubled, or they have doubled. And Paulding flies in for another one. So it's going to be interesting to see if he or Brian Allen makes the team of the week. Because look at that number there, 27 points. And he has been utterly sensational, folks, with his team coming from behind. And his, uh, his numbers are up there. His efficiency rating is up at 29. He's 5 of 6 from three-point range, 11 of 14 overall. Yes, and you just feel like this game is starting to get away from Juventus Utena. Allen flies in. Now he's initiating the contact. He's wanting the foul called. You can see him talking to the ref.
Mahal Balsic gets it back to Allen. Paulding's open, but Allen's going to take it. And a foul down low on Mahal Balsic. Indy at the free throw line. And can't get the friendly roll. And Musasari uh, on top 75 65 in a very important game for them. The Shiktas, meanwhile, came back and beat Bond 74 73. They were, they were trailing with about three and a half minutes to go, down by eight. Ufuk Sorica called the right shots, though, and they've come back. Sarastar Tenerife winning big tonight over uh, at Ilan Shalon. Mike also uh, winning over Rubiana, Petro Olympia. So 1.1 second remaining in the third quarter. And very important uh, 1.1 seconds for Juventus Utna, that's for sure. Going to try to craft something. Oh, they get it. Shiskin is wide open. Well, could have asked for a better shot. So EV Baskets have turned this game on its head here in the third quarter, outscoring Juventus Utna 34-16. Uh, to take a 78-67 lead. In the highlights, Ricky Paulding's all over him. It's because he's got 27 points, three steals. Got one rebound. He's the captain of this team. Allen's got 18 points, four rebounds, three assists. So fourth quarter action underway. And nice drive from Brian Allen. Eighty to sixty seven. Vicious shot clock down to five, and he is fouled by Loising.
And Rabonis uh, taking his players to task. Dindy. Ooh, goes in for the two-handed jam, but I think traveling was the call. Shot is good, and they just keep turning it on. That was from Loising. Picks up his fourth foul. And uh, another foul down low. And this is the first. We'll turn it back over to Juventus Udna. So it's still plenty of time for Juventus Udna, and, and uh, this EV Baskets Oldenburg team knows uh, they need to get some execution here to, uh, to keep stamping their authority on the game and to put this thing away. Allen gets the rebound. Ryan Allen goes in and foul called on Shisnius. Spilton, now Mahabasic. And passes to Spelton. He's not going to get the shot off in time. I suppose they might, EV Baskets, take some consolation the fact that they took 24 seconds off the shot clock. Or excuse me, Dindy hits another three-pointer. Of course, the one thing they've got in common, Paulding and Dindy, they both have uh, the number 23. Uh, Brian Allen. So 
So 12 points is the lead. Paulding. Mahabasic, so not in a rush, but they have to keep playing, getting good shots, and, and maybe uh, taking too much time off the clock. They don't want to become too preoccupied. Dindy got that ball past it. And Flowers hits another three. He's big time. This guy blooms all 40 minutes. I'll tell you what, we've been singing the praises of Brian Allen and Ricky Paulding. But how about Jaunty Flowers tonight? He has been electric. 23 points for him. He's five of seven from three-point range, five rebounds, 26 evaluation. And you see the see the foul trouble. So this game is not over. Juventus have got some scores. Look at him. Drinic saying, hey, we got to do it. We got to keep, we got to keep plugging away. Kalskis. Boy, how, how impressive. I am impressed by Flowers. He started the game so well. Had those 11 points in the first quarter. He, he came up with that big steal. You remember when uh, EV baskets were making the run in the third quarter and then passed to Sisnius who made the three-pointer to take it back to a six-point lead for Juventus, Utena. And now he comes down and hits a big three, which, you know, gives them hope. Thirty-two years of age, Jaunty Flowers. He's guarding Allen right now. And the long one, no good from Schwelten. And Shishkinis misses because you got to give Flowers a touch. He's hitting every time he shoots. Flowers uh, by far having his biggest game, by the way. His previous high was nine points. And here he is with a rebound. Now he's got the hot hand. If he gives it up, see if you can give it back to him. He's free. Note they switch. Spilton. Now Ireland has it. Ireland over to Kornieko. And a foul on Mahabasic uh, pushing off on Dindy. Five eighteen remaining. Plenty of time for Juventus Utena. They just got to keep doing. They got to play their game. They got to play D, obviously, and get some get some stops and get some rebounds. Dindy makes the first. You know, with Maxime Dezeu not able to play tonight for EV Baskets, that's a blow for them. And Dindy makes. Both free throws. So Dindy not doing too bad himself. Five to seven at the line. He's got 15 points. And the drive and the foul. Paulding is like, I should have made that shot. Anyway, he gets a couple of free throws. He'll be plus 30 tonight. There's no doubt about it. You just feel, well, he's got 27 points right now. So six of eight inside the arc. And five of six from three-point range. That is an excellent shooting performance. I mean, he is 11 of 14 from the floor. And now... A perfect two of two at the line, and he's got 29 points. 
plus 31 on the old efficiency rating scale for you statisticians out there. Dindy, good move in the low post, using his body and getting the extension with his hand, his arm, his right arm, and scoring. 15 points. Paulding for three. Good! Is he going to get past 30? Are you kidding me? He might get to 40 at this stage. 32 points. Ireland hustles back down the floor and gets a quick two. But right now, this EV Baskets team just is scoring at will. Mahalbalsic gets in and misses the layup. Now Dindy. Shiskinius. Kornienko trying to post up on EV Baskets. I think it was McConnell. I think McConnell fouled him. Well, that gets it back to a seven point deficit. 87 80. But uh, Kornienko, very important free throw, leaves it out there. Maho Balsic. Schwelten. Good! The three! Takes it back to a 10 point lead. That is a dagger, folks. Alley you pass. Nope. Not able to control a dindy and it goes off his hands and out of bounds. Well, five turnovers for dindy but I think on balance he's had a good game tonight. Brian Allen three points. <laughs> Boy. The threes were not falling for EV baskets in the first half, but they have been falling in the second. Look at this. He's now three of six from deep. And now Brian Allen has it past midcourt. He's going to pull up and shoot another one. Nope, he's going to hand it off. And that's a that's a smart player right there. Allen knows. Let's take a, few, a little bit of time off the clock. We're in no rush. Oh, what a quick move from Mahabasic. And then the follow and the tip. I tell you, EVU Baskets, they were up against it a little bit in the first half. But that three-pointer right at the halftime buzzer by Ricky Paulding seemed uh, to give them some momentum that they've still got. Called the timeout. Thirty-two points for Paulding. And we saw Mahal Balsic is uh, getting it done inside. He's got those eight rebounds to go with his nine points. He's close to a double double. And Brian Allen has got himself uh, 23 points, five assists, five rebounds, and three assists. So a lot of weapons in this uh, Oldenburg team.
Kornienko for three. He gets it to go. 95-83. Back to 12. He's got 10. So Juventus Uden, a 12 of 23, exactly the same as EV Baskets from deep. McConnell. Now Flowers. And Flowers inside Kornienko. Good turn and goal interference. <laughs> Moth Bossic tells the referee, go look at it. This is clearly over the cylinder and on the way down. Oh, it was close, though. He's got every right to uh, question that, I think. I'm not saying I disagree with the call. Mahabasic. Svelten, Mahabasic. Scrapping away, quick pass to Mahlobasic. Kornienko gets the block at the end, but Skalskis now. Skalskis goes up with a left hand. Nice finish. And EVE baskets. Coach uh, Mladen Drinic decides, I'm going to call timeout and talk to my players. I don't like how this is going. You have, you have shot. You know, you have your head up. That is a He guys, say, forget, forget. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Let's go next. Let's go. Vicky Imo. You have, you have speed. You have speed for Marco. Okay. B.A. You are here ready. And this pass is for to take the ball here. Okay. After this. After this, you know. Marco is here. You take the ball for Marco. We go. We go two sides with Vestri. Okay, the If something, go back. Hey. Go back. 23 points. Flowers leads the way. Also has the nine rebounds. Hey, we got just two fouls. Some problem, one foul. You. Hey, advantage is important. Hey. Interesting. You heard him saying as well, the coach, Listen, the, the, the advantage is important, the goal difference. So even if we don't win, let's try to shorten this gap as much as possible. Because it could come down to a tiebreaker. And the turnover, Bitskowskis, Kornienko goes up. Oh, he doesn't make it. Bitskowskis, though, gives it back to Shishnius. He doesn't make it. The scrap for the ball, and EV Baskets come away with it. And Budalavicius fouls Brian Allen. And are they going to give him two shots? 107 remaining. So he does indeed get two shots. First one is good. Second one is good as well. That might just have done it, really. That was a, a four-point swing. And the miss. And now Allen. And he's fouled once again with 51.2 seconds to go. So we're in the final minute. Allen 
So remember, uh, Juventus Luton led by 10 right at the end of the first half when they called a timeout to try to get another basket. And when play resumed, they turned it over. And in just a few seconds, Paulding punished them with a half-court three-pointer to make it 51-44. And ever since that point, EV baskets have been on a roll. And they've opened up a 10-point lead. Now, Juventus Houghton don't want to foul and let that gap widen, especially uh, in this tight group. They want to get it down as, as small as possible with 37.4 seconds remaining. Entry pass, and it goes. Reverse layup made by Paulding who just continues to have a huge night. 34 points for Paulding. Oh, the banked in three-pointer. He called the glass. Is the bank open? 99 to 90. 23.6 seconds remaining. Allen to Sveltem and he loses it out of bounds. So another opportunity and that will uh, make Imladen Brinic uh, lose a few more hairs on his head. So as you heard him talking about the points difference being important. Well, apologies for the language, folks. Uh, can't control that, unfortunately. See the points by points in that third quarter is when EV Baskets just really turned this game on its head. They outscored Juventus Udina 34 to 16. So you heard the coaches, and this was the last play by Paulding. I think it's a probably a done deal. He's going to be on the team of the week. I mean, you cannot play any better than he played tonight. And tough drive and good follow from Flowers. So with 12.5 seconds remaining, a timeout is called. And you wonder about the fans. Sometimes if they're fully aware, they might think, this game is over. Why are they calling timeouts? But the bottom line is you've got the game that we're playing here, and then you've got the game that you're playing overall, managing goal difference and, and things like that. And that, to me, is just a, a sign of great coaching. So, Carsten, you are here. So, B.A., you are here. Watch, please, B.A., please stay. Wait on the B.A. when he take this decision, give him both. Okay? You see, he plays so defense, Carsten. You go here, Mickey, you go here, stay up for them. You right here, right? No, no, this side. Fall hard. Let's play, man. Let's play, man. So 12.5 seconds remaining. And if you're Juventus Utena, you don't want to commit a foul, obviously, to put him on the line. Allen for three. Good! To perfection, the only thing you might say is they've left Juventus Udina too much time now. Bichkowskis over to Jaunty Flowers. He hasn't missed much tonight, and he's not going to miss again. 3.3 seconds remaining. Tata for three. 
Oh! So, on balance, I'll tell you what, the final result, we already knew what that was going to be, but it was still exciting seeing these teams trying to manage that goal differential right down to the final buzzer. EV Baskets, Oldenburg win it, 102-95 to 95 over Juventus Utena. Well, just a great basketball game tonight, folks, in the Basketball Champions League here in Oldenburg. They were on the back foot, trailing by 10 late in the first half. They got a big three-pointer, a steal and a three-pointer from Ricky Paulding Jr. And you feel sort of bad for Juventus Udena because these guys did well. Look at Imladen Drinic uh, getting those uh, two linchpins, Brian Allen and Ricky Paulding Jr. in the middle, his co-players of the game. I think that's probably what he's saying right there. Because they were uh, they were terrific. They were terrific tonight. And, uh, the, you know, EV Baskets need them to step up in a big way if they're going to have a good season, a successful season. So saying thanks to the fans, thanks to the cheerleaders for coming out and helping create a good environment tonight. And the team that's waging battles on both the domestic and the European fronts. And uh, here we go, the stats, I was waiting for this. So the three-point shooting was just terrific from both teams. Look at that, 52% for EVU baskets, 13 of 25, and 14 of 26 for Juventus Utena. Man, it, you can't complain about that. The rebounding was, was even. The assist total uh, was even. Uh, the turnovers were costly for Juventus Utena in the end. And overall, you just have to say that really Ricky Paulding Jr. especially, but also Brian Allen came out and really took care of business. Uh, for EV baskets. Paulding with the 34 points. Flowers was terrific. Look at that, 28 points, 10 rebounds. We talked about him all game long. And Paulding, you know, showing he was also doing it on the defensive end, coming up with the four steals, the block. Dindy had some good moments tonight. Uh, Allen had 28 points. So it was really a, quite a one-two punch for Mladen Drinic's uh, EV baskets team as they turned on the style ultimately in the second half and they won against a determined uh, Juventus Utena team uh, but a team that didn't have quite enough in the end so we'll sign off folks thanks for watching and be sure to tune in for more basketball Champions League action and uh, we'll leave you with some highlights here uh, to finish things off one last time uh, EB Baskets Oldenburg winning it 102 to 95 over Juventus Utena